Hello and welcome back to Retro Bay Cafe After Hours. I'm Brian Watson here with Mick, Hi. owner of Retro Bay Cafe. We're playing Resident Evil. Um, the last time we kind of didn't really know what to do. We found some emblems and we've realised pretty much as soon as we stopped filming that there's a space on the garden outside. with an emblem outside. So we're going to try. We don't know if that's the wind or... What was the other one? Stone or something. Or, we're going to go and check them. Tagonal see if one. they fit. So we, yeah, we need to go and get... We need to go and get the other one back. Yeah. Because I don't think it does fit on that one. Because... So how are you doing, Mick? I'm alright. I'm alright. Fill the cool. Typical winter. Oh yeah, so there's one in this. So we can take the one from here. Should we take... Yeah, yeah, just grab that one back. Yes. And then we'll go outside, upstairs and outside, and go to that save room. Yeah. Good idea. To get the, um, the wind one. I'm trying to avoid some... Zombies. Sarah Blewitz and all that. I was talking to Tom, our producer, about uh, Resident Evil cosplay. Who would you go as? Um, nemesis. <laughs> I think you could knock together a Nemesis costume. I guess if you'd do it for me, or it would be like oh, no, no, you're doing really it. on the cheap, but it's basically just like painting an eye on my shoulder or something like that. <laughs> right, we should and do that. that. Right. <laughs> Go to a con with the cheapest co <laughs> costumes. Well, I noticed on Resident Evil 3 remake, Carlos's hair is uh, pretty similar to my my hair now. So uh, it's quite a style. It's just like a nest. <coughs> I mean, you don't want to see minus why I wear a hat. I got told I looked like Granddad from the Monsters yesterday. <laughs> That's by my mum as well. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Well, it just it kind of sticks up at the sides. Uh, so yeah, I wear a hat. You do have a natural black and white <laughs> look, <laughs> look about me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's very true. Right, so there is zombies through this room, isn't there? Oh, no. Is this, this is the scary one, isn't it? No, 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 that's the one with the cross in it. That's all right. But I want to... Turn right, oh, yeah, go there. and then second left. One. I think this one, the guy who was always lying down. Yeah. And then I think so he stopped lying here, down. Ping along the road, and second on the left. Provided the controls, so we continue doing it as left and right. Oh, oh good. So we were told recently that the controls can be changed from the original to a new alternative version, but we found out that actually we were already <laughs> in the alternative version and Mick just can't play the... Oh, there, what was type A? That would be... Top. That's the, no, that just the buttons. Ah. So type B will change the buttons to be slightly different. So, yeah, it's just Mick can't play very well. Yeah, that sounds about right, to be honest. Right, so we'll go to the save room only to go to the inventory box and get the... Emblem. Emblem. Dump off the ink ribbons. A lot of people are um, a fan of the save music I've seen online. Is that right? Yeah. I can see why. Were you a fan? It's very relaxing. That's what, and, uh, that's what I said. Stressful. Yeah, I find it jar jarring. Every time it comes in, it comes out of nowhere, forces its way through, and then you go, oh, actually, no, this is good. Yeah, because there isn't music anywhere else, apart from when you play the piano, of course. Um, right, so which side? Was that the... Oh, I'll get your map out. Second... Get my what? Get my what out? Map. Map. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, whoa, this is taking a turn. Um, was it first floor or second floor? First floor. Up that alley, isn't it? So, right, north. It's not, that, the red it's not door. that bit out there. That's red. No, no. The, um, in the north, you've got that sort of curved corridor. Well, you know what you're doing. I think it's there. That bit there? No. No? I don't know. You, you, where do you think it is? So, you see where we are? Yeah. And you see just above us, you've got those funny little arrows. Mm -hmm. To the left of that, I think that's the corridor. 
that that is, isn't it? Is that not a locked door? Yeah, yeah, but there's a locked there was a locked door at the end of it. Yeah, you're right. Yes, you are um, right. Yeah, definitely. So when you go upstairs. And down and around. Down? Yeah. That way, yeah. So to the right. And then down through that door. Back out to the corridor. Oh, that's a long way round about it, isn't it? I'm trying to remember if we've got any zombies lying about anywhere. Or not lying about. Creeping about. What do you think of the soundtrack? Um. It definitely sets a mood. I can't remember if it's the same as the original. I presume it's been remastered slightly as well. Yeah, there looks like some new noises that they've been able to do in it. Right, so we're in the corridor now. So we want to go down the floor. Oh, that is a way, isn't it? That is a way. Oh, no. Actually, no, 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 you no. You go back out yeah, again. Yeah, back yeah, back out, back out, back out. Yeah, that's all good. <laughs> and then ping this right... This is a really exciting episode. Just run right us past Doing the, uh, a circle. But that's the beauty of actually, like, sitting doing it rather than... Oh, yeah, we Finishing could, it, we finishing our day and then going, oh, let's just crack on through a, a guide and watch someone else do it on a YouTube We could have video. easily edited all the footage to <laughs> about two hours. And yes, that would have been entertaining for people, but... Not what we're about. <laughs> we're not here to entertain. <laughs> no, we're not here to entertain or play a game well. There's loads of other people on YouTube that do that stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've got to find your niche. <laughs> and ours is, I'm too scared to play. And you can barely play. <laughs> <laughs> this. Just wait till we get on Cophead, though. Right. I want to go through here, and then I'm going to run. Because that zombie... <laughs> and that's where he's going to be. Down that, it's where he comes down yeah, from every time. Unless... He's down to the right where I was the last time. But I'm going to place my money on. He's going to run right at me. Go. So I'm just going to run. And he's probably going to hit me. But that's okay. Shove him to the ground. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> like that. You can't burn him, can you? you know, I don't oh, know. It doesn't even stop him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Opening the door does, though. Because he's... He may be able to run. Yeah, it'd be terrifying if you just opened the door, wouldn't it? Right, so we're hoping that this... See what's something, uh, but... That, see? That looks like it could be right. I reckon... Yeah. The, oh, I didn't read that. There's something written in the indentation. The defiler of the accursed coffin. Oh, well, we defiled the accursed coffin. Oh, yeah, we did. Didn't we? Let's see. That sounded like a door unlocking. And I'm standing right in the way, so you can't see whether it is or not. But we'll just go through it. Anything scary here? We are just going to leave that snake, right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> just I know you really wanted to go and kill it, but I'm just going to say leave it. This is a bit of a... What was that bit done? There? So there, there's um, some shotgun oh. things, which I don't think... Like I don't have a shotgun with me, so... I don't really see the point of carrying them just now. And there's a first aid spray. So we're only really both through one door. I'm sure we can... Oh, there's two doors here. Hmm? Is, it... is that the one we've just come through? Looks like there's some stairs. Ah, uh, oh yeah. Secret stairs. Unless they're down there. You can't go behind there, can you? Can we go that way? Secrets. Oh, yeah. Battery. Battery. Let's grab that. That's handy. It doesn't take up space in inventory. Which is handy. Hmm. Wish more things did that. Right. So we can go through both doors. So we're both grey. So we'll go down to the secret. The game is about to expand. Don't like it. That's some new noises, isn't it? Yeah. 
Sounds like. Oh, that's a creepy. Sounds bath. like a, a. Oh, the courtyard. Sounds like a mouse having a bath. Go. Shall we see if the sign says there? <laughs> oh, it's the. Um, What's this? It seems to be some kind of signpost. Each direction is accompanied by a corresponding destination. <laughs> it's kind of what signposts do, isn't it? <laughs> North, Valley of Destruction. South, the Cave of Hatred. East, Summit of Madness. And West, the Path of Revenge. They're really sad it. At what point when somebody made this mansion? Oh, so we're going to... Whack some little, well, whack a signpost and some directions on it. What shall we call them? Some really nice things? <laughs> like the Cave of Flowers? No. Cave of <laughs> Hatred, please. Right, we're going to go down there or do you want to try that other door? No, I go down. Go down. Oh, well, what, what is this way? Valley of Destruction? I'm not really too sure because I'm not 100%. Do we go to all these places? Right, let's break that. Just snap that off. There's a switch oh. here. Press it. Oh, yeah. So direction. Cerberus. Indeed. There's a switch here. Press it. Oh. Where was that? A head thing. The Cerberus. Oh. oh. Okay. I feel a puzzle coming on. They didn't have colours. Oh, there's the Cerberus down there. Did the, um, like the Cave of Hatred or whatever it's called have a colour? I don't think any of them had a colour. They were all just... Let's go down the door. Or gate, as it looks like it is. What so, is it? there's two Cerberus. Or, would the plural be Cerberi? Yeah. Cerberuses. <laughs> the gates will open when the guard dog's desires are fulfilled. Looking down there, I'm not even sure I want that gate to open. Because it looks pretty damn creepy. Yeah, I can't remember this bit from the original. No. I can't remember much from the original, obviously. <laughs> but. Right, I'm going to go there, back. Is there a path past there? Is that a path that way? No. No, it looks like it is. No, I'm quite sure the map just had one path. No, oh, yeah, it does. Um, I'm going to so go. If you turn that, they could face to face, could they? I, I think. It. Maybe did they face away from each other? Is that what they want? Press it again. Oh. Got to stop. Right, right, so I just turned it back. First switch turns it 90 degrees. It doesn't stop at the direction it's facing, though, does it? No. I don't think so. That'd be too uh, clever. Second surely. switch did nothing but spin it round, and the cockerel. And the third switch brought it back 90 degrees. I'm going to go back to the other inside and go to that other room. Yeah, stay inside where it's safe. <laughs> to be honest, that path has zero zombies on it. I feel a bit safer <laughs> there. And that gate's locked, so... Yeah, Mickey was saying earlier that he didn't feel great and wasn't sure if he should come to make us sick in this room, but... I said it wouldn't be great. Seven episodes of me in the safe room, just <laughs> hiding, just hiding out. Yeah. I was watching um, the Walking Dead finale. Oh, don't say anything. I haven't finished it. All right. So I was very ready for it to end about four seasons ago, but now I'm not sure I want it to. It's a bit of a strange one. Gonna die. Three dogs, man! There is a blue hair there, by the way. Blue huh? Blue? Uh. Stab, clean off the knife, dude. Run. Uh. My goodness, man, those people are horrible. From bad shooting to very good shooting. Absolutely. I like this. <laughs> It's one of those where, like, I don't know how you somehow don't have to shoot very often considering there's so many zombies about. How oh, there's a spray back in that room. 
Yeah, that'll probably make me feel a bit better than that. I want to, yeah, it's quite, quite red. And I'll combine my combine my bullets after that. Oh, so there's a red door at the end. Do you reckon it'll unlock with a lockpick? Or do you reckon it's a helmet? <laughs> I reckon it's a helmet. <laughs> I think so too. I wondered how long it would take to get to that first aid spray. Oh, you already had one. Oh, so I did. Oh well. Where are you going? I must have suspected. I'm gonna go and try that door. This is not where you just came out of. Yeah, I know, but there's a door at the end that I didn't try. Because I went back to get there. Oh, what? <laughs> That's it, this oh. isn't the door you came out of. Of course it is. <laughs> Very disoriented in this damn game, like. <laughs> Maybe a big light on the top of my head that says don't go out the stupid door, man. Yeah, it's a big... That's why they put those, like, guidelines, didn't they? Future games where you press so a button and it tells you exactly do, yeah, where like to go. Ikea arrows would probably be quite a good right about now. <laughs> so what you're saying is the owner of Retro Bay Cafe, modern games get it right. <laughs> 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 Disappointing. Is it locked? Oh, it's oh, open. Oh, no. As the game goes on more, I kind of don't really want to see as much. To be fair. I feel like there's more shocks coming. Oh, oh. No. If um if they had arrows pointing in the right direction, I'd probably moan it was too easy though. So Yeah, exactly. That's what we like. There's a square shaped hole. I need a crank, I think, for that. Oh, cranks? Completely forgot about crank you're not going in there, are you? I don't think it's gonna allow me to, but I thought I'd give it a bash. Right, so we need to figure out which way each of the Cerberus should be pointing. And a crank. Let's have a look at the map. Is it telling us we've got everything? I haven't been uh, keeping time on this episode, but I'm, I'm going to guess that we're close to the end. <laughs> 